Hi, I'm Rick, and you're in the Whiskey Zone, a place to celebrate the spirit of the spirit. And speaking of celebrating, what happens when one of the most popular whiskeys on the planet hits a milestone anniversary? Well, if you're Spirits Giant Diageo, you come out with something like this. It's the Johnny Walker Black Label Isla Origin release with spirits from a couple of well-known Scottish distilleries on the Isle of Isla that are blended together in the magic lab located in the village of Menstrie in the county of Clackmannanshire, Scotland. Around the time the Johnny Walker brand celebrated their 200th anniversary in 2020, they also released the Origin series four different versions of the iconic Johnny Walker Black that highlighted the four different regions where whiskeys come from that make up the four different flavor profiles of Johnny Walker Black. It was originally sold as a travel retail exclusive before hitting the open market everywhere, which is why it's in this one liter bottle size. This 12 year old blended malt same age as the standard Johnny Walker Black, has Isla whiskies from the Kalila and Lagavulin distilleries as part of this Isla origin blend. It was matured in 100% refill casks and was bottled at 42% ABV. Now, I understand Johnny Walker strives for consistency in their mass market releases, so the fact that there is chill filtering and color added not only doesn't surprise me, it doesn't bother me either. I mean, Diageo doesn't need me to tell them how to be successful in the world of whiskey. The color they've chosen to give this whiskey has kind of a copper hue to it, kind of like polished mahogany. And the legs are thick and quick. Now, just to be clear, I never say no to a nose full of Isla whiskey, whether it's a blend or not. A very nice earthy peaty scent. <sighs> like walking past, or should I say striding past, a field of fresh ripe strawberries. <sighs> Not surprisingly, slightly medicinal. <sighs> We're standing next to a cask in the warehouse when somebody opens the front door and lets some fresh sea air in. Now the blending team at JW, they know what they're doing, so this taste should be quite entertaining. Cinnamon, a sweet smoke, slight chocolate tones, and a smoked caramel sauce. Now, Johnny Walker has a habit of marketing their whiskeys as a spirit that's good to mix with other things like ginger ale and cocktail mixers. And I guess that's true, but with the recognizable Isla flavors out front here, and at only 42% ABV, I'm gonna pay this one some respect and judge it as is with no added water. The finish is moderately long, but not in an overpowering way. I get a sweetness on the lips and a nice slight smoke blanket settling in over the middle and back of the tongue. If you're only a fan of heavily peated, extremely smoky, ashy Isla whiskeys, then you might not find this pour as compelling. I admit, for me, there's nothing like the excitement of the unpredictability of pouring a cask strength Isla whiskey into your glass. But Johnny Walker doesn't do unpredictable. They built a business model based on repeatable flavor profiles and balance. And that's what we've got here. It's a lovely balance between smoke and sweet. And I admit, it caught me by surprise. They rounded off some of the harsher edges and made a very tasty whiskey. If you can locate a bottle, you should buy it, especially since it's at a good value price. And when you share it, you'll surprise someone else. I'm giving the Johnny Walker Black Label Isla Origin release a nine finger pour. Thanks for giving me five minutes of your very valuable time for this review of the Black Label Isla Origin. If you'd like more details on this review, as well as uncorking additional whiskey information, check out thewhiskeyzone.com. And if you get a chance, a quick click down below would be much appreciated. So until next time, drink smart, stay safe, and we'll see you again in the Whiskey Zone.